This is Lithia Springs Conservation Park. It's uh, located uh, right off the Alafia River, which um, the spring flows into. It's a second magnitude spring with 35 million gallons of water released a day. It does have some uh, lithium oxide in the water, which gives it its name. Uh, it's constant 72 degrees temperature all year long. Uh, beautiful clear waters. So uh, come join us for a swim and um, learn a little bit more about the, uh, the history and geology of this place. In 1900, Reverend Charles Kingsley purchased the land that contains the springs. After Kingsley noticed the springs had an unusual taste, he sent samples out for testing. The results indicated a high concentration of the mineral lithium, an alkaline white powder traditionally used in ceramics and glass, and in modern times used in lithium batteries and in the nuclear industry. Thus, in 1904, the spring and the surrounding community changed its name to Lithia. The spring water, in fact, contains not only lithium, but also sulfates and an elevated amount of nitrates, which is a result of the fertilizers applied to citrus that seeps into the spring. Lithium-rich springs have been proven to provide relief from arthritis, uh, fibromyalgia, and asthma, as well as enhancing growth of neurons in the brain. The mining company Gardner Inc. purchased the spring and the surrounding land in 1937 and in 1957 leased the land to Hillsborough County, which made it a park and continues to operate it to this day. Now the spring boil is located, it's a dark part right here. It's uh, about 10 feet deep, they say nine to 15 feet deep. Um, limestone outcrop, and it's got a steel um, grate to uh, prevent p uh, divers from, and swimmers, from diving into the caves, which are located underneath the spring. You go a little bit of a distance. All right, so we're gonna make our way down into the spring. And the majority of the spring is relatively shallow. Seems like about between two feet and four feet. But the section at the far end behind the partition is uh, the deeper end, and that's where the, the spring uh, boil, uh, boil or vent is located. And uh, this area has a lot of uh, limestone I'm stepping on too, and, and tripping on, but uh, nice, uh, nice sandy bottom and reflects the clear water. So in the middle of the spring, and it's about three and a half feet deep here. Water's beautiful. It comes up at 72, but it's such a shallow pool that it feels more like 78 degrees.
So, water's very clear, three and a half feet down. And lots of fish, too. All right, let's go under. Alright, so get me swimming around the boil. Yeah. You can get closer if you can. Okay. If, it, if you can. Okay. No, I will. Okay. big school of fish right here. They're only about six inches long. There's about 20 of them. And the darker areas would be limestone, kind of limestone platforms. So the spring boil is right in front of me. I'm, I'm going to uh, investigate. I'm going to go down. I'm going to swim down and take a look at it.
is the spring run that's located to the right. We'll take a closer look at that. Okay, so here's the Lithia Spring Run that flows into the Alafia River. And it's supposed to be good kayaking down this river. Beautiful live oaks along this path. This is the Lithia Spring Run, about a hundred yards up from uh, where the uh, main spring basin is. Beautiful water. There's no swimming, but they do allow kayaking. And uh, that's at a place uh, about 10 miles further down. It's also a county park and you can launch a kayak from there and kayak all the way down close to the spring area. This is Lithia uh, Minor Spring, much smaller. There's uh, no swimming in this area, no fishing either, no trespassing beyond the fence. We'll take a look at it. And it's, uh, Springhead is right here, the very front. Zoom in a little bit. It's actually right in the foreground of this video is a limestone cliff and the vent is right underneath that. And it's a significant drop. Beautiful natural setting here. Some historic photos of Lithia Springs, uh, dated between 1958 and 1961. And this is the spring, the late 50s, early 60s, where before it was uh, walled in with the uh, natural outflow of order. These photos correspond to the construction of the bathhouse. How's the water? Good, but you have to put your face really close to it. Oh, the pressure's not too good? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the highest shooting water fountain I've ever seen in my life. If you enjoyed this uh, trip to Lithia Springs Conservation Area with us, please click like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you on our next adventure.